Perfect example of what happens when the mold causes the tape to stick and you put it in a player and it rips. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sean with Emerald Coast Digitizing. I convert tapes and films to digital here in Pensacola, Florida. If you need someone to do this for you, check out my website, emeraldcoastdigitizing.com. Let's get on with the video. Thank you so much for the for all the support with the channel. It's growing, it's great. All right, so we're picking up where we last left off with these tapes that have sticky shed syndrome, mold covered tapes that uh, the actual film has ripped because of the mold and you can see there. And this is just a little kit that I built. It's not perfect, but it does the job fairly well. So we'll use it to fix these. So this thing works using this dimmer switch here and I can adjust the speed and the direction of the tape. So we'll go ahead and open these tapes up and we'll get to cleaning. This is me just prepping this order to be done. I don't know if I'm gonna start on it today, but I do need to get everything cleaned up and ready to transfer. This is a, a relatively small tape here. See right there, it's got a slice through it. I'm going to do a quick splice. I do this in all my videos, so let's just skip this part. You can see right there where it started to rip. You see the mold spot right there where it ripped it. We'll cut past that. And sometimes this can take a while. I mean, that's how sticky this tape is. It's not just going to come up on its own. It is fused together with the mold. And I can reach in there with a pair of pleasers, with a pair of tweezers on my fingernail, but then I risk digging into the whole tape. So normally this works. This might need a new piece of tape. Okay, there we go, finally. All right, so we got our tape back out. So we'll just give it a little tight tug and get it past that mold there. You can see it. It's actually growing on the white side of the spool. All right, and we're spliced up. We're going to use this machine to unstick the sticky shed. And the way that we do that is we use this as a take up reel. And we sit here and we kind of hand pull it real tight. And when I say real tight, I mean you just put a little tension here and you hold tight with your left hand and you let it rotate with a little bit of resistance on your finger. And then you just unwind the whole tape this way. And then I'm using this machine to, as just my take up reel, so uh, I'm not, I don't have three hands, so this makes it a lot easier. And that sound you're hearing that sounds like masking tape, that's the tape itself unsticking. And you can see where it's removed the bit of the film on the bottom so we're at the very end of this side so we'll turn off our machine we'll flip this over all right now we're back into the sticky part and we'll just do this entire length of the tape until we're sure it's not sticking anymore and then we'll rewind it all the way and put it back in our tape housing and we'll move on to the next one. And this is just preparing us for capturing it. And hopefully we won't run into any issues capturing it, but a lot of the times if it's displaying the, uh, if it's actually sticky shedding like this, then we end up having some issues where it dirties up the VCR heads. But luckily this isn't a high eight tape or a digital eight tape or a mini DV tape because those are much harder to transfer if they have sticky shed. 
the VHS tape is pretty straightforward, pretty easy process to do this, especially if you have a rewinder. You can put a dimmer on the rewinder and you can undo it this way. And this is an incredible secret I'm giving away here, guys. So like and subscribe. All right, we're at the end. And we are rewound. And just for, uh, just for kicks, we'll send it through uh, the cleaner as well. Put a little alcohol on that right there. And I'll actually go around the whole thing. And then it'll get alcohol, get it wet there, and then it'll dry it on the way out. So we'll just do a slow pass on this cleaner. And that should clean it up. Clean it up pretty good. And this way we can put it through the rewinder over here. And it'll be at the very end of the tape. And then we'll put it in a, a rewinder to get it to wind up nice and clean. Before we put it in our VCR. And I actually went through the trouble of building this machine. So that I could uh, not have to depend on the Geneva tape cleaner or anybody else's cleaners out there. Um, I just made this out of a one of these VCRs and this is a VHS tape shelf is what I use so basically I just built this out of stuff I had around the shop and it's working great and I can use it for multiple things like I can use it for sticky shed winding up it's just nice to have an open face rewinder to work with uh, it helps a lot with doing tons of recoveries and repairs all right so We'll just put it back in there. And then we can put it in a normal rewinder. And, uh, rewind it all the way. That way it's nice and snug on the reels. There we go. Put our screws back in and toss this in the rewinder. This is fairly short tape. Um, it's a uh, transfer company tape, I believe. So it's just a, a short reel, the length of the recording. So that went pretty quick. I think it only took like five minutes to do that. Next, so we'll rewind it in here. Another one last cleaning. Bit ripping again is very unlikely because of what we just did to it, fix it. All right, we got this one unscrewed. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this done before this customer shows up. Oh, this thing is so useful. Here more coach digitizing, Mr. Sean, how can I help you? And this little hole in the spool right here makes it really good, really easy to apply some alcohol on the front of the tape and then it dries it off as it goes. So you have a nice dry, clean tape. And all this tension makes it wind up really nice and tight. This is a, and you can kind of walk away from it, which is, I need to be able to walk away from this a little bit every once in a while. It's not necessary to necessarily watch it all the way through, depending on what's going on. Watch it, but once you get it through its first pass, you can do three or four more passes and just walk away. Which I have done on tapes that are super moldy. I'll get it through its first pass all the way through, and that way I know it's not going to stick. And then I'll maybe I'll send it through this three or four times while I'm working on something else. And it'll just go in the background. All right, now that we're in Marcos Digitizing, this is Sean. All right. Hey, you made it. Yeah, finally. You gotta put something up on your shingles up there, man. I maybe, maybe one day. I don't know if I make enough money in here to, uh, What's up, I don't make, I don't make enough money in here to be buying signs and stuff. No, but make one or shit. Maybe I'll make you one at work. Customer just came through and dropped off some 8mm tapes. I was hoping it was film, but it was tapes. All right, we'll go ahead and rewind this to the end. All of our tapes are working great. And we are ready to start this job. 
This is exciting. 